some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in court with a so-called free man of the land, Sovtard, who, uh, well, leaves with his probation revoked and a warrant issued for his arrest. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, the Devante Richard Matter 2A0400092 and 2A0400113. Richard, if you could activate your audio and video so I know that you are hearing. Okay, thank you. This the case that we believe I saw recently, there was a eval set up and they were unable to reach him to participate in that evaluation. That's my understanding, Your Honor. I saw that as well. I think the last time we were in court, um, counsel indicated that the uh, meeting had been set up to do the evaluation and the date uh, was discussed. And it looks like Mr. Richard did not appear for that. And yeah, for the record, Sean Parent for Mr. Richard, um... Yes, unfortunately, that appears to be the case. I'm not sure why Mr. Richard didn't appear at the evaluation. Oh, Softar, that's a good one. You're not sure why your corporate self didn't appear at the evaluation. Well, dude, uh, let me tell you a little secret. There is no such thing as your corporate self. It's just you, you giblet head. Mr. Richard, we've been waiting for you to talk to um, one of the doctors, and we've been setting this up case over for that to happen. Mm -hmm. When you were here on April 8th, we discussed that you were scheduled uh, for that appointment on April 24th. Uh, so I know that you were aware that they had you calendared. Uh, Mr. Richard, why didn't you show up for that appointment? Well, that was an assumption. I wasn't aware of anything. Well, you were at the hearing when we talked about it, so... I don't recall. Oh, you don't remember being there? Uh, well, uh, Softard, I know I remember you being in court that day. Hell, I've got the, well, the recording of you destroying your own case within a few moments. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Flashback. It's about jail time as well. So and why, do, why does somebody have get jail time for something that they never had? I've never had a driver's license. End of flashback. You participated on Zoom on April 8th, and we discussed that your evaluation was calendared for the 24th of April. Uh, was there anything signed for confirmation? Well, your attorney has been working to get that set up. So, well, have I haven't talked to anybody. Mr. Parent, have you been uh, in contact with Mr. Richard? Uh, looks like my office, we tried to reach him to uh, make sure that he appeared at the evaluation, but we were unsuccessful in reaching him. Do you have proof of that? Uh, yes, I have my colleague's notes that we tried to get a hold of you. And what was the number? So, Mr. Richard, we have the phone number that ends in 1752. I'm talking about the number you supposedly contacted the defendant on. Yeah, you're the defendant, and it's the phone number that ends in 1752. No, uh, that's an assumption and presumption. I'm not in, I'm not nobody's defendant. I'm not authorized representative of that account. Well, well, if you are not the defendant in question, then are you a lawyer? Because if not, then you should not be representing him. It is illegal to do so without a law license. So if you are him, then just say you're pro se and call it a day. Okay, so Mr. Richard, the thing is, if you cannot participate out of custody, the court may have to set bail and have you um, placed in custody to get this evaluation accomplished. So when you are informed of the appointments and then you choose not to appear, the court interprets that as a willful um, violation. Under what 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 law are you saying that I can? What what charges? Are, what are the charges? 
We've gone over that. You have been told that you are charged with driving while license suspended and driving without an ignition interlock device. When, so I understand that you I date? understand you disagree, but no, at this point we I don't, need I don't, to I don't I don't disagree with none of the facts. I said what was the date? The date of the driving? Is that what you're asking? Well, I don't drive, so I'm trying to figure out the date you have on file. June 4th, 2022, Your Honor, is the charge date. Thank you. Okay, and have I been charged with anything? Yes. And what is it? What are the charges? As the, as the court just read aloud, driving with license suspended and driving without a functioning ignition interlock. And is there a witness that you can bring to attain to that? Ralph. I no, no, Ralph. This means you're failing English. Me fail English? That's impossible. I, I think you forgot what the King's English is all about, matey. I think you forgot what the uh, word attain actually means, you bugger brain buffoon. Those are the criminal charges. You also were cited for not having insurance. Yeah, but do you have a witness? Yes, the city has witnesses. We, we have the officer that will be testifying. The officer. Okay, well, can you can you can you read the police rec uh, ticket on the record? We're not having a trial today. We're trying to figure out whether or not you are uh, competent and able to proceed in this matter, and that requires that you speak to a doctor. But that is well, what we're trying to accomplish, and Mr. Richard. If you refuse, can you explain? Can you explain to? I don't understand. So, can you explain to me how? We've How tried to explained this to you previously. So what I'm going to ask you is whether or not you are going to comply with meeting the doctor out of jail, or does the court need to set bail and have you booked into custody so they can talk to you there? That's not what I'm wanting to do. I would like you to uh, cooperate and have this case proceed with you out of custody. Well, I need some type of contract to obtain to whatever you're asking. Because I have questions and you're not answering them. Your Honor, at this point, I think given the track record of Mr. Uh, Richard um, and his unwillingness to comply, the city is going to be asking that the court set bail and remand him uh, on that bail to have the evaluation done in custody. Mr. Richard, can you assure the court that you will come to an out of custody evaluation? I will agree to anything if you guys can tell me the nature and cause of this action. My Sixth Amendment right. I need to know these things before we can move further. Yeah, your right to a speedy trial. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, you would have had your trial already had you cooperated. But seeing as how you're uh, pulling all this soft tarred BS and gumming up the works. Yeah, uh, a speedy trial is not exactly working out because, well, of your stupidity. Are you refusing to tell me? I, I didn't quite hear your question. What are you asking? I need to know the nature and cause of this action. I need to know that before we can move forward. Yeah, I believe that the court has told you that you're you're being charged with driving a license suspended in the third degree and operating a motor vehicle without an ignition interlock device. Okay, well, I have a question for the judge. What's that, Hello? Mr. Richard? Hello? Mr. Richard. Hello, or, or, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You should sit down and then instead of having me facing your <clears throat> clouds, you should participate in this hearing. Thank you. So every time we have a hearing, you ask these same questions and we've explained to you that you're facing criminal charges and that we need to have the doctor speak to you. And so right now your option is whether or not, as your attorney said, you can agree to meet with the doctors and stay out of jail to do that, or the court will have to remand you into custody so that they so can talk basically to you you're, you're telling me you're refusing to answer me. You're refusing to answer any questions? That, that's what you're saying? Because I just, I just have questions. We've answered your questions. We're going to proceed at this point. I'm going to... I didn't, even answer, I didn't even ask the question, so how did you answer it? That's what I'm saying. Are you refusing to answer the questions? What, what do you want to know besides what you're charged with? What was your other questions? My other question was, 
did you or did you not take an oath to uphold the Constitution? Can I just get a yes or no? That would be a yes. So you're enforcing statutes right now. And so you're, you're, you're totally going against your oath. So I'm trying to figure out what authority do you have to tell me to do anything as a public servant? Uh, Mr. Richard, I am authorized by the revised code of Washington to sit in this court. I'm uh, duly appointed to be a municipal court judge. I've taken my oath. You're charged with a violation okay, of the RCW oath, and the uh, Lake Forest Park Municipal oath, Code. Why are, you, why, why are you enforcing statutes if you took an oath? Oh, looky what we've got here. We've got a diction uh, deficient sovtard on our hands who can't tell the difference between statutes, codes, and laws, and doesn't understand that they're pretty much all the same damn thing. So come on now, Softard, put down the uh, lead paint, and, uh, uh, well, hopefully your brain will recover and get out of that uh, stupor if it's not too seriously damaged, and you'll be able to remember what the actual definitions are, if you're not too far gone already, that is. I know you don't think that it applies to you, but it does. So I, I didn't say I didn't say it didn't apply bail. to me. I'm going to set bail in this matter at ten thousand dollars. You're making assumptions, ma'am. You're making assumptions, ma'am. I never said it didn't apply to me, but we both know here that the Constitution is not for me. It is for the public servants. Oh, so the Constitution isn't for you. It's for the public servants. So, uh, yeah, you want to live in this country? Uh, okay then. Uh, so you don't want to abide by the Constitution? You want to uh, just live without it? Okay, uh, let's take away your Second Amendment rights since you're obviously not going to use that. How about your Fifth Amendment right or your Sixth Amendment right, which is in the Constitution that you just tossed out the window as being for public servants only, dude? I mean, come on now. You're trying to have your cake and eat it, too? You are so full of shit. So... I don't know why you're making assumptions and presumptions. All, all I had was questions, and you're just going around me. So Obfuscation is, is a big thing. I'm going to set bail at ten thousand dollars, and we're going to end this hearing, Mr. Richard. You can uh, report to jail. You can come in, but we are trying to do this without you having to be in custody. But you are refusing to cooperate. I didn't refuse anything. I was never put on notice. So I didn't refuse anything. Oh, you were, I right know you were put on notice at our last hearing. So that's on the record. So What's I on the record? that to be uh, false, Mr. Richard. So that so is everything. That everything, is everything, everything that I asked you, is, am I wrong? Uh, is yes, that what you're saying? Yes, you're wrong. So we're going to do this and we are done on this matter. Mr. Perrin, if he does reach out to you and something can be arranged for them, but... Um, Right now, the doctors have tried twice to contact you, and you've taken a spot that would have been available to someone else. So we need to uh, progress this matter, and that bail will be set, and we'll um, continue with an in-custody hearing date when you are booked. Wow. Uh, dude, uh, you, you brought this on yourself. You have to be one of the most incompetent sovereign citizens i have ever seen out there and uh believe me there are a lot of them but you know what this isn't over yet i want to see any what else he can say that will uh increase the level of stupidity that we've already seen today for the record the judge is willingly going against public policy so on here and in you're held liable for everything you do from here and on out all right thank you mr Richard. For the record. For the record, on the record, everything that you've been saying is on the record. And uh, especially you saying that uh, the judge is violating all these policies and everything like that. Uh, dude, you've been violating the law uh for quite a while and trying to get away with it yeah and you want to have your cake and eat it too by saying you uh are for the sixth amendment and uh want to throw out the rest uh yeah dude that's not how it works so now that we've had to deal with this uh idiot stupidity let's just go ahead and uh take a breather and watch a sovtard uh, getting arrested just for the fun of it. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? 
Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Prowers County, Colorado, where a sovereign citizen was involved in an issue at the local Walmart where the police had to be called to intervene, is now being pulled over because of expired tags. And surprise, 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 he also had a revoked license. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, Mr. Curry, I'm Sharimi. I just spoke to you. Officer. You're revoked and your place are expired. <laughs> Thank reasonable, reasonable articular suspicion for pulling me over. Your place are expired as of April 2022 and you're revoked for three alcohol refusals in the state of Colorado. Okay, I need you to read that. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Do you have the entrance to the vehicle? Okay, so I want you to know that right now what you're doing is you are committing deprivation of yeah, rights. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm aware of what that is and I understand my legal standing and authority in the state of Colorado, which is what governs what I do, okay. which is specific to CRS. Also, the United States Supreme Court has okay. that, that doesn't matter to me. Has ruled that you cannot impede my traffic and keep me from traveling. Okay. You do not have a. I, I'm not, I, I don't want to listen to that because I've already heard it. I know what the sovereign citizen is. No, that's not a sovereign citizen. You okay? They have ruled. Oh, but you are a sovereign citizen. Just admit it already, because you are using all the same arguments that any other sovereign citizen would use, including the tired old deprivation of rights argument, which never really works. But it's sure as hell funny to watch you idiots try it on actual judges and watch you get a legal smackdown as a result of that. Yeah, we're good. Do you have your interest in vehicle, sir? Hold on, give me a I, second. I'm, I'm requiring you to require... I'm asking you for your insurance, which is required Just by state law. One second to explain. Mr. Curry, I, I don't want to hear it. Okay. One second to explain. I, 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 I don't need to hear it. That doesn't pertain to me because of what you think that says. I'm familiar with that 18 code, so I have not been convicted of okay. any... No, but any the DMV has rights. revoked your license in the state of Colorado. I understand that. But that is also unconstitutional. Okay, well, that's you can take that to the Supreme Court. You also took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Uh-huh. And, and I may explain this stuff to you how the U.S. Supreme Court has it. already ruled that you cannot stop me from traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, look what we got here. We got yeah, more what we got here, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, so... Well, you do have the right to travel, first of all. I mean, you do. You can walk. You can run. You can even ride a bike. Second of all, stop trying to deflect attention away from your stupid sovereign citizen arguments by pointing at the frauditor that is filming just beyond the range of the officer's uh, camera. And yes, there is a frauditor just outside of the range of this officer's camera. But, but we'll be able to see him here in a few minutes. Just not well enough to identify who he is. What you need to understand okay. is what you're doing okay. is violating my Constitution. And that is your opinion. It is the 14th Amendment. Mm -hmm. That is your opinion. The U.S. Constitution. Uh -huh. Are you aware of the 10th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which gives it the power to the that states to matter. dictate law? That's actually the 10th Amendment. Let me explain this to you in plain, simple words, solved hard. The 14th Amendment is about... Wait a second, did that cop just say what I think he said? Did he actually educate that Sovtard on the Tenth Amendment? I've been waiting quite a while to hear an officer use that in an argument. But of course, as we can see here in a moment, that this Sovtard is just going to wave it off like it doesn't exist. But of course, that's because he's never actually studied the Constitution like he says he has. So let's continue on, shall we? What you're doing? Okay. What you're doing? So, are you going to provide me with your proof of insurance or not, Mr. Curry? What you're doing? You don't have a reason of yes, I do. Articulable suspicion for the stop. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. You're in violation of 42 section one D, which is driving under state Carter Rice statute. You're also in violation of 42 three one fourteen subsection one A, which is driving on expired plates, which is again a Colorado Rice statute. Obviously, did these, you run the tags? Yes, I did when I pulled up and contacted you at the Walmart. Okay, and what did it come up as? Four of 22. Okay. I want you to know that I registered this as a non-commercial vehicle. I deregistered the tags, therefore mm -hmm. they are not expired. So they're fictitious? No. no. Because these tags I are expired. I purchased the tags. Okay. I they belong to the state of Colorado, actually. I purchased the tags, and then I deregistered them, okay? Which means that I purchased my tags, 
Okay. They're still owned by the state of Colorado, which is why they can revoke. Actually not. I have the receipt for it. Because right. I bought this. I understand that. Do you understand the paperwork you signed at the courthouse? Non-commercial vehicle. Okay. Okay. This you don't own those plates. It doesn't matter if you registered them for commercial or not or whatever. Once you unregister those tags, they become invalid and you can be pulled over and fined. You really need to stop listening to all those soft tart YouTube videos. This is Are not. You gonna no. give me the insurance or no? I'm trying to tell you no, that you I don't have probable cause. And I'm disagreeing with you and lawfully I have the right to do this. You lawfully do not have okay. the right to do this. We can agree to disagree, but Cardinal Law, Cardinal Law requires you to provide proof of insurance to me upon request. On, on probable cause for the stop. Nope, and I'm trying it. to tell you, you did and not have I do have cause. probable cause based on Colorado law. You do not. Okay, so you want to refuse that? Because I, I got to go to refusing. I'm trying to get you to understand that what uh -huh. you're doing is And what I'm unlawful. telling you is you're incorrect. No, soft hard. Driving in the state of Colorado without insurance is illegal. And the side of the road is not the place to be arguing with it with an officer. If you want to argue your point, go to a court and try your hand with the judge. Though I don't think he'll be sympathetic towards your plight. And I'm, I'm not incorrect. Okay, well, that's your opinion, sir. My Your opinion thing. and the, the oath that I uphold with the state of Colorado is that you don't have a driver's license. Did you know that there's persons exempt from driver's license? It's also a Colorado revised statute. Simple, but did you know that? I understand what the law is. Do you know what law that is? No, I don't need to know. Well, let me look it up and I'll show you. I don't. Well, I've got a question for you. If you think you're exempt from having a driver's license, why do you even have one to begin with? And looking through the statutes on what you were just talking about, I don't think you would qualify on any of those. So are you going to give me your insurance or not? Hold on just a second. So I'm Curry, I'm hold on. At this point, I've now asked for it five times. At this point, I'm going to step back to my vehicle. It's going to be considered a failed correct proof of insurance because I've asked you repeatedly. That's not what the law reads. The law reads upon my request. I have requested it for a lawful traffic stop. Not to mention your vehicle is also defective with your broken windshield. Hold on just a second so I can give you the statute, okay? Time for it. If you'll send everything to me. Just your information. Subject refusing to provide proof of insurance or anything. Not, I haven't refused yet. I have asked it, and not providing is not following my direction. I have not refused it. I'm trying to get you to understand. No, I'm 10 for And if you'll note that Mr. Owens is also on scene recording. Well, now, it doesn't surprise me that the local frauditor is well known to the police in the area. Okay, then we got unlawful evidence. Okay, so I'm go I gotta go to another call. But I am going to submit this to the DA for an arrest warrant, and that way a judge can review it, because I don't have time to sit here and write you a citation, because I have to go to this other call. But at this point, you have refused to provide the proof of insurance, or I have not refused it. Okay, I have asked for it, but specifically the statute says upon request, are you going to provide it to me now? Upon probable cause of it. Okay, I'm going to take that as refusal. I'm going to go to the other call, but I'm going to draw this up, and I'm going to write a warrant for your arrest for failure to provide proof of insurance and driving under revocation. Okay? You do that. And if a judge assigns it, then you will go to jail, obviously. Okay? But I understand you are not, you can't drive. So if you drive away from here, it's another charge. Oh, so now you're, now what you're doing. Now, I'm telling you, you can't drive. Now yes. what you're doing is you, oh man, now this is entrapment. Okay, stopping you from committing further crimes is entrapment. Okay, whatever you say, soft hard. No, it's not entrapment. I'm not allowing you to break the law. I'm telling you not to break the law. If you choose to go into your own hands and break the law, that's your own decision, Mr. Curry. Okay. You're not letting me show you the, the statute. No, because the statute I know what you're referring to doesn't pertain to this. Yes, so here's my business card. So since I am releasing you at this point and not in citation, I am going to give you a business card. But I do have to go to this other call. So understand that I will write an arrest warrant and it will be submitted to the district attorney's office for review, which will then be sent to the judge for, um, to be signed. Okay? Yeah, I've got your body camera. Absolutely, the whole time. I, everything we do is recorded, okay? And obviously it appears Mr. Owen's recording it, so if you want to contact him, you can, because he's got a video of it and I'm sure you're recording it. Not part of retaliation, is it? No, sir. No, no you're no, out of the court, you're good. It is definitely retaliation. retaliation is, 
Oh, there goes the persecution complex. It's not my fault that the uh, police were called on me at Walmart. It's not my fault that I was pulled over due to bad tags and no license. Oh, me, oh my, woe is me. I am the innocent party here. So, have a better day. Don't drive. I understand your plates are expired. You don't have a driver's license, and at this point, you've not proven any insurance to me. You have committed unlawful That's fine. seizure. If I actually haven't searched your car, so violated my fault. Okay. Okay, soft heart. Please explain this to me of how your Fourth Amendment rights were violated, considering you were not searched and nothing was seized from your person or property. Oh my goodness, you're an idiot! If you would like to file a claim, you can go to Denver and file a Title 1983 lawsuit. You're more than welcome to do so. But as of this point, or you can go down to the police department and file a complaint with the PD administration. False imprisonment. Absolutely, if you feel that way. I have a lawful reason to contact you, but that's okay. It is just one idiotic statement after another with this soft hard. It is not a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights to ask for your driver's license or anything of that nature. He also ran your tags and they came back suspended and your driver's license revoked. End of discussion. So we'll just go win a rest warrant and we'll see what the judge says, right? What's it? No, they're on another call. I actually need to go to it. Corey Remy, what's your real badge number? Buddy? 712. It's no, on my business card. Another real badge number. 712. No, your PID. I don't have to provide you with my post ID. Really? Correct. You don't have to give me your nope. PID? No, sir. I am not required by law to give you my PID upon your request. He's I have not, to. He's failing You're to. Required by what? He's failing I'm to. I'm not identify. providing my post identification number. You're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not giving You're it. Giving me a yeah. false PID. I'm not giving you a false. I give you my ba my badge number with the city of Omar is 712. Okay, so, there. you have a great day. Don't drive because you don't have a license. What was that, Mr. Owens? Fuck you. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. I appreciate you it, sir. Body, you got your body yes, on? sir, I do. It's recording you, recording me. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, huh? the horse you rode in on. Okay. Well, have a great day, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, Mr. Owens. Just understand you'll be listed as a witness in this court case. Let's not kid ourselves, people. He ended up driving away, but those warrants were issued and he was arrested six days later so let's take a look at that video shall we what are you guys doing huh? what are you guys doing he's got to go upstairs i gotta talk to him here's going on step over here for me you have a warrant no for your no no he got released later that day but ended up getting arrested not too long after that so let's watch that, shall we? Leave me alone, guys! All you gotta do is come and talk to us. I'll tell you what's going on, okay? You got another warrant for your arrest, man. What? How did I get contempt of court? I, uh, I have no idea what. Also, can you tell me what those warrants are for? You want it or you want me to? Um, it's up to you. She's going to tell me what uh, those warrants are. Warrant 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 I copied. Can I, can I do see those, the warrant? Do those yeah. show we'll new charges? No, I want to see the warrant previous. first. No, 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 I want to see the warrant. I want to see the warrant first. I want to see the warrant. I want to see the warrant. You have anything on you? Poke, you, poke me, stick no. me, harm me, blow no. me up. No, okay. I don't. We're going to take a bunch of stuff out of your phone. Okay. I do not consent to any of this. Okay. He gets released again. And he is caught driving his vehicle again, and this time it is towed. But of course, he thinks that they need a warrant to even tow it. So, let's just enjoy his inane stupidity while it lasts. You do not have permission to tow my vehicle. You do not have my permission. 
I do not consent to you. You did not. You did not do a traffic stop. You are profiling me. Get away from me. You do not. I do not consent to you. I do not consent to you towing my vehicle. Well, that's the end of his video, folks. He got arrested twice. He got his t truck towed. I mean, there was just no end to his soft hard stupidity. I mean, oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?